Hey guys, Kadir here today with another, I guess, tech world tutorial, I guess you can say. Now, I just closed the text document I was going to use as notes, so uh, I can't really show you, but bear with me. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to get the most out of Twirl. The reason I'm doing this is because I was on the Twirl forums, I'm a member of that, and their uh, type of blog thing where you can basically post, you know, stuff you want to see in Twirl, development for the, you know, the programmers who obviously make Twirl. And of course, Twirl has its limitations because it's built off air, but it's still a really great client. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it posts to Twitter, Jaiku, uh, not Google, actually, yes, Jaiku, Pounce, and FriendFeed, along with Identica support. Those are the main ones right here. And then also has cross post to Pounce and Jaiku, like I said. So I'm going to show you how to get the most out of it because I thought I just should pile it up in all in one video. And one pretty big how to, and that's how to get a custom skin. Now, this is pretty easy. Um, custom theme, I should say, for Twirl. Now, you can already go into open accounts and go into colors and pick your theme for Twirl, but I'm going to show you how to make your own. Now, my own is already in there. It's sleek black. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really, really easy. Okay, so, like I said, let's first get the most out of your Twirl by tweaking your settings. You can get in the configurations by going here. Now, some of you have an error, which I used to have, is when Twirl wouldn't let you, let's say, uh, save your password or username. It wouldn't let you post on Twirl because it was just giving you this bug. And that was all in the release of 0 0.84. Um, just a lot of stuff that I uh, might have, you know, been giving you problems with or whatever. So, okay. With that said, uh, let's show you, I'm going to show you how to fix it. It's really easy. Go into your C drive, go to documents and settings, find your user, which is my owner, the user you're on. Don't go to all users, go to the user you're on. Again, mine's owner go into application data Adobe and then go for air and then look for this document right here ELS now you can look for the folder for twirl this is basically where it saves all your settings and if you delete it and restart twirl twirl is just gonna reset the settings and there's a bug that the first time it does it it may have problems so if you delete it or start twirl it'll be back the folder will be there no worries you're just gonna lose your save password and stuff like that but when you sit, reset your account, everything's gonna work again. Like, like I had a problem where it wasn't saving my password, and I had to reset that, and it worked. And another problem I also had was it wasn't posting. Like after three posts, it would go blackout, and it wouldn't let me post. And that was a bug. Um, that's how you fix it. So Mac OS 10 or Vista, it may be located in a different place, but it's still gonna be in your ELS folder. So maybe you wanna search ELS under Twirl or whatever. Uh, again, documents and settings, application data. Okay, so if that's if your twirl is having problems. Okay. Now go into your preferences and then let's see, anything here you want to tweak, I would recommend putting up cross post if you have those accounts. You can tweak these if you want. Visually, I take prefix tweets with sender's name off because that's basically if you can see in this little white area right here, it's kind of grayed out, I know, but if you look right there there's a little part that'll add a name in sometimes and if you take that off, it'll take the name away and just give more space for tw tweeting I guess you can make the font smaller or bigger I kinda like it to be bigger just cause it looks better uh, I set it at 12 I think by default it's 10 change your font and actually I haven't done that which I should do I'm gonna change it to Calibri cause that's the one my uh, theme is using and it'll, I think it'll, it has to do it when your thing sets uh, twirl so so visually you can fix it I would also recommend putting opacity at 100 even if it's uh, you know inactive always that way if you can read it if you're not you know using it notify you can mess with that Twitter API now the Twitter API by default only allows 100 requests per hour meaning you can do all the stuff only 100 times by their API limit so I would recommend setting that to the highest it doesn't go to all the way to 100 it goes to 80 follow reduced API limits uh, set these to whatever you like I set mine to one minute because I want my tweets the fastest my replies are kind of out and my direct messages are kinda out. Now the reason they're out is because uh, I want to get my tweets obviously faster because the the closer you move this the farther they will go. It's like a slider type thing but this is a thing that uh, it's pretty handy now. If you're following somebody you're gonna get the reply because you're following them. That's considered a tweet. So what's the point of having your replies close up if you know you know why? What's the point of having your replies so early if you're already following them? Your tweets is gonna get it in the first place. So your tweets is the main thing. The only thing that replies will come in handy for is if you're following, if somebody's following you and you're not following them, and they send you a message or over reply, you're not gonna get it until seven minutes or however you said it. I just like it because this way, tweets if it's 
far up there and the people you're following who are usually replying to you obviously are you're still gonna get them even if it's considered a tweet overall direct messages uh, usually Twitter I don't really use it for direct messaging I guess sometimes I do so I set that pretty far off too okay so I've gone over all of that now let's go over how to make your own custom theme it's really simple okay so head over to your C drive under my computer go over to program files find twirl and which is right here color schemes find the document that you like out of all the themes that are already on there find the XML file you like copy it I copied black magic because that's one of my favorites and I want it to match my theme and then I just copied it right clicked copy pasted it here and I called it TW black for tech world black now I just opened it with notepad 2 and I changed these are the main things you have to change don't get amazed because it's all you know code and stuff uh, this just this is notepad 2 not notepad so be aware of that it's gonna look different in notepad the main things you want to change if you know some HTML obviously title you can change it to whatever you want mine is sleek black um, again you can change the preview image if you want to do that theme color this is how I got my theme color okay I went to a site like colorpicker.com and you can just google search uh, hex color picker and basically what this will do if I drag it let's say I like this type of black as my main color that's obviously just regular zero 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 black now I want mine to be a little lighter it has a live updater so that looks pretty decent so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this f number 1A, 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 whatever. That's the hex of the number. I'm going to take this number that's already in here, the theme color, and paste, paste it in. I like the theme text color to be maybe a kind of nice shade of, you know, white, I guess. I'll say, like, somewhere around there. That's fine. And it shows you a preview image of the text as well. And it's going to stand out, obviously, it's going to stand out pretty nice because you know you can move the slider around if you want to it's gonna stand out nice because of it being obviously a what do you call it the black against the black background and I'm just gonna copy that all and just cut off the number part I don't even think you have to but okay so I'm going to take the text color I don't I'm not gonna go too in detail I'm gonna finish this up later on my own but so those are the main things you can change whatever else you want and then go to file save as save it wherever it is I'm gonna replace it and then exit that, minimize this, and I'm gonna re go in over here, open accounts, colors, black magic, and it should be in this drop down menu, sleek black, and change color. Exit twirl, no, 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 not exit twirl, sorry. Save, and there you go. That new theme of black is in twirl along with my change font and everything else. Looks pretty nice, don't you think? Okay, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go tweak this up a little bit tomorrow to my liking. But that's basically how you make your own custom theme. It looks really nice, guys. Okay, guys, so that's all for today. That's all I want to talk about. Twirl, it's a really great app. Really read it and try it out. Anyway, guys, thanks for listening to this tutorial. Uh, don't forget to check out the website at adrianstech.com and email me at adrianstech at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.